LeBron meet LeBron. Let's see if it'll actually throw the bomb. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> The new movie, Space Jam, a new legacy. We got toys, we got candy, we got books. Woo! Let's get started. Okay, first of all, we want to start off with something a little bit sweet. Let's take a look at our gummies. You know, that's what Granny from Looney Tunes would say. Gotta have something sweet for my gummies. Take a look. We got Daffy Duck, Lola Bunny, Marvin the Martian, LeBron James, Tweet, Bugs Bunny, Basketball Hoop, and we got shoes. Look who it's made by. Betty made him. It's Betty Crocker. We're still missing our granny. That's our ultimate goal is to find granny. We got some blind boxes working on it. You want to watch those others to see if we actually found granny. Hey, look at this. Woo! Maybe there's a surprise gold nugget inside. You'll know when you bite into it, you lose a tooth. But hey, that's what you do is you replace the tooth with that gold nugget. A little pinch and tear. Okay, I see some of them. Guys, I guess these are blind bags. In one bag, we didn't get everything that we wanted. Now we got to open up another one. Oh, look, we got some more. There we go. We got them all now. Okay, guys, so we got two sets of the same color. So we have the orange and the yellows. That's what kind of threw me. So I have to really not focus on color anymore. So first of all, we got Daffy Duck, and then we got Lola Bunny, LeBron James, and we got Marvin the Martian. Ooh, you make me so angry if you eat me. The Twitty Bird. And then Bugs Bunny, the basketball, and a stinky shoe. Guys, next we got our candy poppers here. We got Bugs Bunny and Tweety. He's got a little bird cage. That's super cool. So let's start with Bugs Bunny. You can open up and there's your candy right inside, but you want to keep it shut because if you push the button right here, yeah, get the candy mom, get the candy, it's everywhere, get the candy mom. Ah, the thing is, if you keep eating the candy, you lose the fun. Maybe they have refills, I don't know. Then we got our Tweety, same thing. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you push the button and yours doesn't work, you want to look at the bottom because you got a piece of tape right there that when you pull it off, the batteries are now operable. That's why I say these guys for last. First of all, we got our Daffy Duck, and this is Candy Fan. But what kind of candy's inside? <gasps> Ooh, it's jelly beans. And guess what, guys? They're organic. So, what happens when you push the button? Oh yeah, that feels good. That's only half of a feel good. Where's the candy? Gotta find the candy, must have candy. Oh, maybe it's at the bottom here. There's a piece of tape there. Well, let me get out my uh, Swiss Army knife and cut the tape down below and then see if this will just pop open. Maybe that's where it's at. Oh yeah. There's our organic candy. Even says right there, organic jelly beans. What kind of flavors do we have? We got cherry, looks like strawberry. And look at that one, that one's a mutant. It's got little red blotches on it. It's like they're trying to hatch an egg and the egg didn't fully develop and it's got those little red dots in it, in the yolk. Ew. Maybe it's part of the flaxseed that the chickens were eating. Mmm, flaxlicious. <laughs> Going tune on me, a little bit of a sugar rush. This one's my favorite one out of all of them because when you hit the button, watch what happens. That's the opening for Looney Tunes. And it's pretty loud too, the speaker right here. And also it's organic and it's jelly beans. There we go. Same packaging. I don't know what that is. It's just a funky little egg. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Let me try a new flavor. Let me go with something pink for the gals who are watching. Mm, pink's got flavor. Okay, next guys, for our bowl of cereal in the morning to get us up and going. It's a limited edition of sweetened corn cereal with marshmallows. In fact, let's figure out how much sugar is in here. Ow! Oh, it only has 12 grams of sugar. The entire cereal box only has 12 grams? Yay! 
Now as per cup, we've got berry artificially flavored with marshmallows. And then on the side, you can cut out a little basketball hoop because what you can do with that is when you cut it out, you can put it on the back here of the box. See the basketball board? You can just go ahead and cut out two slits and put it right in there and make some hoops. Hey, guess what parents? You can allow your kids to play with their food. To play, follow the instructions to assemble the net, grab 15 marshmallow basketballs, shoot marshmallows one at a time to see how many you can score. So guys, here's the official score sheet. If you make two or less, you have that many fans in the stands that are watching you. If you get one, you got at least one fan. Three to five out of the 15, you need some pointers. Six to nine, Toon Squad Captain, woo! And then 10 plus, you're the Slam Dunk All-Star. Okay, I gotta try this here. Cut it open. I don't know how you're gonna cut it, so let's just go ahead and do it with our Swiss Army knife. So you cut those, just slits in the back like that, but then we need our net, which is over here, so we're gonna have to cut this out. Oh, I got a very sharp Swiss Army knife, guys. Look at that, just like butter. So there, cool. Oh, look, you can see the marshmallows inside, and colors may vary. Maybe they turn after a while, so make sure you eat it fresh. Don't go past the expiration date. Oh, that is the family size pack. Woo! Family pack, pshaw. This is just my morning snack before I eat breakfast. They say colors may vary on the marshmallows, all right, guys, so we got the berries to give it a little bit of flavor. Then you got the basketballs. If they just colored the berries orange, that'd be more basketball because it's round and the color. This one's just a flat, you know, how can you dribble that? <laughs> Maybe it's just when you're eating. Uh oh, missed one. You dribbled it and you made a basket. And then we got our bunnies. There we go. Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you picking up the field mice and popping them on the head. So we got to find 15 basketballs here, guys. That goes in the slot. I won't push it in that far, so I got a bigger hoop. In fact, let's bend it and give it more of a round thing so I can become that slam dunkster. Well, I gotta get 10 or more to be the slam dunk. I mean, if I only get like one or two or even zero, that's how many fans I have in the stands. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, yay, woo! I mean, they didn't put any rules here. How far back do I have to be? Let's see if I can get way back here. I missed. So I got two. I have two fans in the stand. Now I have three. I have three subscribers. So let's see if we can do it in multiple of hundreds. 200 subscribers. 300. Let's go by thousands. 4,000. 5,000. Let's make a bunny shot. Hey! Even bunnies work. The berries, they work. Hey, you don't have to stick with these flat balls. They have no air. So guys, we got these little bag tags or figure of bag clips. You're traveling a lot and having fun going to Universal Studios or Disneyland. You put these uh, clips on the bag. So when a carousel brings them around, you know, like, hmm, which bag is mine? Oh, there he is, it's LeBron. Well, hopefully nobody else in the world is buying these things. So you can tell the difference because if everybody got these, you have to memorize the color of your bag and you have to remember which tag you put on it. Because what if everybody else have the same color and the same tag. Wow, that's pretty cool. I love the rainbow color here for the backing. Kind of a little bit of a digital court background there. I mean, they had to. They were all tunes. They had to use computers to create those guys. Well, that makes sense. Let's take a look. One. Oh. So like for LeBron, you got the clip here. Push that in and just hook it up and there you go. They won't even stand. Well, especially uh, Taz. I mean, okay, first of all, look at Taz. He's riding on a cloud. Look, he's teething. <laughs> and then we got our bugs. He's already got his two front teeth in. Okay, next are Funko Pops. First of all, we can do our wet fire on the back. You can see all the ones you can collect. LeBron James, Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, Daffy Duck, Marvin the Martian, Dom, Sylvester and Tweety, Wet Fire, White Mamba, and LeBron James. Well, let's take a look at wet fire. Oh, he looks cool. I haven't seen the show, so I don't know what he's doing with these fireballs, but it looks super cool. These basketballs on fire. Hot potato, ha! And what about our LeBron here? There's a total of four you can collect in that series. And so LeBron James, Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, and Daffy Duck. This one's pretty cool. When he's taking a leap up into the air, they got a little support stand, so it looks like he's actually jumping. And guys, you know what number he has on his jersey? Today's special number, number six. Because guess what, guys? Woo! I'm six. I'm LeBron. Up for auction, guys. LeBron's jersey and shorts. I got them. Or one of millions. And then finally, we got our Bugs Bunny. And again, there's our all-star Bugs Bunny. And then on the back, it's the same thing. LeBron James jumping, Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, and Daffy Duck. 
I mean, he looks cool. He's got his basketball. I was hoping he have a carrot in his hand. I mean, that's just part of uh, Bugs' signature. Okay, guys, we got two basketballs. Not just any basketballs, they're basketball plushes. Well, plush, you get to like turn them inside out and they turn into LeBron James and Bugs Bunny. You wanna see? Kinda magical. I'll work my magic. Let's go ahead and pull off the tags. <laughs> if you pull it off, it may rip something, so let's just use the skeezers, man. And just clip the little uh, plastic here, take that off. And like for LeBron James, you open it up and it actually shows you the transformation from the ball into LeBron and vice versa. I don't know, man, there's like so many pictures. <laughs> okay, first you start with the ball. All right, got the ball. And then you got feet popping out. It's like the ball's hatching like a little chick. The feet pop out and the ball's running around. <laughs> it's like a tune tune all of its own. So how do we pop its... Oh, did you hear that? That's Velcro. Okay, his feet pop out. Where's his other foot? Oh man, that must hurt LeBron. Give him a real big push. Oh jeez. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Whoa! Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> hey Jay Leno, welcome back to the late show. This looks like he was kind of arrogant, didn't he? Well, there you go. And look, can you see the back? It's just like a fold in to get him back into the ball. It feels really good. Nice and soft. Alright, now let's try to go backwards. By LeBron. <laughs> Oh, that chin's the hardest part. <laughs> and you keep tucking and tuck it away. The Velcro will save us. <laughs> it actually folds in. So this is a fuzzy side, this is a the sharp side. And so what you do is you fold it in like that so it stays in. No seam. Cheap thing, doesn't bounce. <laughs> oh! I didn't know I had a bunny tooth. Let's go to our Bugs Bunny. I'm not gonna pass this to camera mom. Okay hey guys, for our bugs. So there we go, we just pulled the Velcro apart. Oh look, they have white Velcro for him. Oh, you gotta be careful because it looks like the Velcro's catching to his, his jersey. Hopefully he doesn't rip his jersey. Let's just pop him out. Oh, let's just push with our thumbs right here and just dig, dig, dig. And parents, you're gonna have to help him out. Bugs looks like he got like a buck tooth. It must be baby bugs, he just has one. I don't see the split down the middle. He feels all soft and look, He's got a little hair. So you see all the Velcro in the back? So you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna kind of tuck it in. There we go. That's, that's pretty seamless. That's super cool. Which one is your favorite hoop pal? LeBron's got a lot of cool color. He's got a great looking mullet there. And Bugs Bunny's cute. Like he's just a little baby Bugs with his one little tooth. Guys, if it seems like we're going through this pretty fast, it's because Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> so next we got the Ultimate Toon Squads here, guys. First, let's start with LeBron James. You can see it says LeBron James Ultimate Tune Squad. Four accessories included. You got the acne mallet, the acne blocker, basketball boom, and the basketball. Try me, movie, phrases, and sound. And then on the back, just a little bit more detail about him. There's the basketball boom. It's a green basketball. And there's a regular basketball. It's orange. And you got the acne blocker. Then you have the acne mallet. Welcome to the jam. Basketball champion and cultural icon LeBron James goes on an epic adventure with Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes in an animated live action event. Space Jam, new legacy. The contents are one 12 inch figure, four accessories, and one instruction manual. And also available to Marvin the Martian Ultimate Tune Squad. Well, let's open them up, test them out. We can get the plastic out, but then he still has the straps around to hold them in. Lucky for us, we have our wire cutters. Not for the kids, obviously. <laughs> These things can really do damage. Get them out. Anything else? Oh, all right, cool. Wow, he's huge. The tin squad up here, if you push on it, he'll give you some sound. And the speaker's around on the back. You can see there's a speaker. And there's the screw that holds the batteries in there. <laughs> Sweet, he's got some cool sounds. You can see he's got protrusion on his hand to hold the basketball. Let's see, does he bend at the elbows? Yes, he bends at the arms, they rotate. Cool, and his legs, oh, they move. Um, not at the knees. All the way at the back of the uh, box here is your instructions. Okay, I think we can figure it out without the instructions. First of all, you gotta get his pack on. You got these two extensions, and they go right into the two holes here, it looks like. Let's see if they fit. Yep, and then you got the holes here. Put in your claws. I guess there's just an edge to that, a little groove, and there's a little extension down here, so you wanna line that up. 
Sounds kind of creepy, right? Like he's all machine. I didn't know LeBron needed such stuff, but you know, when you're up against a tune, those tunes can drop anvils on you. So this mallet will go in his hand here. Oh, nice satisfying snap. He's got a lot of weight on him, but he's still standing. That's super cool. They have extensions up here, and both these balls have holes in them. So you can put them right up here in the jaws. You know what he reminds me of? Marvel Octavius. He's got those things all over the snake in and then. Is he turning on us? And look, there's the bomb. So you got the fuse right there. So he lights it, throws it at the goon squad, blows him up, and then takes his lemon, shoots it, and makes two. All that destruction for two points? You know what, LeBron? You better get behind the three-point line and make sure you get an extra point for all that. Also, he's got a protrusion here on his hand so he could hold either one and then the bomb lebron me le bon let's see if it'll actually throw the bomb oh it did plus his head oh it does turn cool oh it actually goes up cool he can actually move around a little bit to see where he's throwing things Next. Hopefully you guys are still watching, because if not... Oh, you made me so angry! You did not wait for me, you Earthlings. I must defeat you. Prepare for defeat, Earthlings. He's 12 inches tall. You got the try me phrases and sounds by pushing that little belt buckle on him. The big M for Marv. Mech claws open to hold basketball. And then on the side, you got LeBron. Just a big smile for you. Photo shoot. Go ahead and do a selfie with him. Makes it look like you're right at the game. And then you got the other two you can do selfie with. So make it look like you're part of the cartoon. And then on the back. Oh, removable Marvin figure. Now he's got phrases and sounds, opens and closes, acne met claws. And then it says the same thing on the back of LeBron James' Ultimate Tune Squad. Welcome to the jam. Available is LeBron James' Ultimate Tune Squad. Okay, let's go ahead and open them up. That was a lot easier than him so far. <laughs> he just had to pull off the top and slide. And it looks like he's taped in here. So these are just just something to hold him in, I guess. Wire clippers. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. I like that. Kind of reminds you of aliens. The Sigourney Weaver getting in her thing. <laughs> fighting. Those aliens, you know. He's such a cute little dude. His little skirt. Go ahead. Do a curtsy. Oh, you make me so mad holding me like this and making me do curtsies. Oh, he's got two little holes at the bottom for what? I don't know. But he's got his hands extended so he can go ahead and put them on the levers. That looks super cool. By the way, here's the instructions. We'll use these as backups. Instructions, they just confuse me. So there's the b-ball with the hole in it that he'll be able to grasp in here. Come on, left hand goes on the left side. Yeah, they have a little notches inside so you can't just put it in any which way. You gotta line it up here and slide it in. Oh look, he bends at the elbows too. That's just cool. I love that clicking sound. Oh yeah. And then let's see, this one actually says you can put the basketball in here. And you see this little slider right here? Let's see what happens. He needs the <laughs> I thought I was going to shoot at camera mom, get it right in the camera eye. But this thing just opens it up. So it extends to put it in there, and then you can lock it, hold it in place. Okay, that's cool. I like that too. This one doesn't bend at the elbow, but you can rotate the shoulder. And this one does bend at the elbow, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and hear some sounds here. So if you push on the M for Martian, Marvin, and at the back you can see, well, there's the screw for the compartment of the batteries, and right above it's the speaker. Where's the kaboom? I claim this planet in the name of Mars. I need my space modulator. Oh, goody. My Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator. This makes me very angry. Very angry indeed. Prepare for defeat, Earthling. Brace yourself for immediate disintegration. Puny Earth Games. Next, guys, we got our super suit. Go ahead and try to say that, guys. Super shoot. How about a big black bug bleeds black blood? Say that really fast. Or toy boat. So this one is a super shoot and dunk LeBron James. Cool. Woo! So look what he can do. Man, he's got a huge hand that he can do a slam dunk and he can shoot for three. Launch and dunk. Okay, on the side, you got LeBron James, a big mug. On the other side, what's inside? And then on the back. So first of all, you can shoot for three, slam dunk, as we just went over, and use this launcher to blast off. Ooh, you can keep score to see who wins. And then down at the bottom, also available, and you can watch this in our other video, LeBron James with Acme Rocket Pack 4000, Bugs Bunny with Acme Blaster 3000, Marvin the Martian with Spaceship, and LeBron James with Acme B-Ball Blocker. Cool, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, first we got his B-Ball. I love it how they bounce. 
We have a ball dune. And then he strapped in, so we need to cut that out. But man, look at his big hand. Whoa. Here's the rest of it all, all strapped and locked up in here. So let's go ahead and work on that. There's the basket. Mm, goes down like this. Oh, and then this goes up here, right? Nice. So they got the instructions here. And then on the back side, which is pretty interesting, is they got a placement map. So where you can go ahead and place the hoop and where he needs to be to make the shot. Okay, after we got this together, you can see the scores here. You against whoever else. We'll give camera one four points up lead and I'll start me at zero. Okay, so what you do is you can do one of two things. You can either have him just pull his arm back and flip it and try to make the basket, or you can go ahead and put him on the slam dunk machine and have him dunk. So first of all, we'll do the slam dunk. And how you do that is you can guess where to put this, but instead of guesswork, on the back, they have the placement map. So we'll go ahead and we'll take that. We'll put this where it should go on that map. And then we'll take this. And you can see right here, it says place LeBron here to dunk. So in any one of these three positions, you can place this machine. And then what you do is you take LeBron and you push him down. And when you push him down, you get a little protrusion here. That protrusion will lock into the hole here. And when it locks, it's stuck until you hit the ball and then it'll go forward. But before you hit the ball, you have to bend his hand down. And these balls have a two point on one side and a three point on another. For this one, you want the two point exposed. So the three point is gonna go up underneath his hand. Now, there's no way he can grasp it, so it has a magnet. Now, the three point has a stronger magnet on this side than the two point has not so strong of a magnet on that side. And I'll tell you the reason behind that in just a minute. Stronger magnet here sucks right up to it. Boom, right there. So here I go to try to make a basket for two points, and it's right on the edge of that shadow. So when I hit the ball, oh, I missed. Maybe I'll do better from the side shot here. Push it down. Maybe I could pull him back just a little further. Do you think? Do you thunk? We're going for a dunk. Okay, well, you know what? It would have been a dunk, but you know what? The rim of this is also magnetizer. It's got a steel in there because, oh yeah. So there's something, he's got a magnet in here and there's just steel in here maybe because he hangs on it really well. So let's try this again. Yeah, woo, two points. Okay, so this one, what you do, is you take them, you put them anywhere behind the three point line, and you make sure that the three points on the ball is facing out. So the two points is gonna go up on his hands. See how it's just hanging there? And you pull the hand back until it can't go back anymore. And yeah, it's supposed to bend at the wrist too, so keep going back. And then when you're ready, oh, that goes back far. Uh. No. Should I go back further? Look at that. He had to go way beyond that marker right here because eh, his wrist was too noodly. I mean, it went way back, it looks like. I'm not sure if that's normal. Well, maybe it was his arm. But man, that's super cool, guys. Okay, guys, we got some books here. First of all, official character guide includes posters and stickers. And there's the back. Speedy Gonzalez says, go one on one with also superstars, tunes, villains, and heroes from the new hit Warner Brothers movie Space Jam A New Legacy. This full color guide features character profiles, plus the poster, and over 30 stickers. So you open, oh, look at that. You open it up and look, they give you a big, huge picture of Marvin the Martian, and then a little bit of background. You made me very angry, very angry indeed. Fast break fact, Marvin's dog is named Canine, like Kane 9 get it? I don't get it. Look, we got Elmer Fudd. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm shooting baskets. Uh, who's ready to play b-ball? Me, Wonder Lola Bun. And then you got your goons here. <laughs> and we got my favorite granny. Who are you, whippersnapper? Granny's coming to save you, Tweety. I'll make the basket for you. Oh, special skill. I get to senior discount. Does that mean I'm points? You're fired, you're out of the game. I'm <laughs> giving discounts. We're trying to earn points, not discount them. I'm a little tweety in the twee. I thought I thought a pretty tat that make me. Suffering fuck attack. I'm gonna have a wonderful dinner. Finally, some KFB, Kentucky Fried Birdie. Oh, we got a nice fold out here, guys. Plaster that over the wall. And they got some stickers. Sweet, guys. Good night, goons. Good night, sweet moon. With a big bad boon over the blue lagoon. It's Adventure Fun Dad reading you good night stories. Go ahead, pull up the covers, lay back, and relax. First of all, we got sticker time. Yeah, I got over 30 stickers. Pretty cool stickers. The front and stickers on the back. Look, there's Porky Pig. Porky Pig stuttering makes people underestimate him, but with a little bit of support, there's nothing he can't do. And plus, you know, if you look down below at his, like, rap sheet, hey, he can rap. Yeah, yeah, I'm Porky Pig, and I like it, rap. One time I was in a haunted house, and I saw a spirit, an apparition. 
Oh, look, my favorite, Granny. She's the coolest, guys. I love Granny. Oh, I tip to you all the time, Sylvester. I knew what you were up to, Steel Match Retail. Thank Twanny. So they got a lot of like uh, specialties on all the tunes, but when it comes to the goons, guys, there's not much to say about them. When you're a goon, you don't have much character. There's just no rap sheet on you, except, hey, you're a goon, get in jail. But still pretty cool, guys. Love my books. Finally, guys, we got our Connect Four shots. It's the Toons versus the Goons. And it's super cool if you ever play Connect Four this way. In order to get the Connect Four, you actually have to shoot. And you got to connect four in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. And there's the front, and there's the back of them playing a little Connect the Four. So make sure you make the basket in the right area that you actually want to connect all four in. So even if you know where you're going, your finger may not, and you may slip and not get that connection. But let's go ahead and play, guys. Oh, look at that. That's super cool. I like that picture right there. That's on the front of the Connect Four. And then there's the back. Uh, there we go. We got your instructions of how to build and then how to play and how to win. I'll keep it short. How to win? Cheat. All right, there we go. No, we don't do that. Camera mom's shaking her head. Well, she's the one that prompted me to say that. Are you frowning at me, camera mom? Yes. The goons cheat, that's what I meant. If you're a goon, you know, you cheat. You got these two bases here, you have the right and the left, and it says R for right, L for left, and down at the bottom here, it says R for right goes over here. And put our right over here, and then we'll put our left over here. You swing them out this way. Oh, there goes our backboard. It says put it aside. Oh, there we go. So if you pull out the sides a little bit, because there's little hooks right here so you got to bend that out and then once that releases then pull and slide it up there we go and then put the backboard up here cool got to have a little backboard to bounce them down in there okay so this one face down I'm gonna take this and kind of go behind it like that and try to like slide it into place like this cool and we'll do it again okay I think we got two B-ball shooters. Nice. Okay, guys, now we're ready. I finally got a goon here. Look at his shirt. He says he's a goon. The goon squad's back. You're going down. No, you're going down. So, yeah, look at that. He's already down. Yee! The tune. I win. So the whole idea of the game is to get four in a row. Since I'm the tune, I'm the light blue here. So I either got to get four diagonally or four vertically or four horizontally. So the first one to get all four in any which one of those ways, directions, wins the game. Now, the thing of it is they have a silver ball here. If we get everything in there and nobody gets four in a row, this is the tiebreaker. The first one to get the empty slot here wins everything. And then we got two other balls here. Now, take a look at these balls. You see this one? This one's kind of a what they call in the instructions more of a metallic color when it comes to what the blue-green color. So it's just a slight offish color than these other balls. So that's the metallic for the tunes. And this one, which is a lighter purple, is supposed to be more metallic for the purple goons. Now what that is, is we each get one metallic ball and it counts as two. So if I got two right here and I drop the metallic ball here, it counts as two. So it's like one, two, three, four. I got four in a row. So we get one each. Use it wisely, my son. And then what we got to do is we got to drop all these balls out. We're going to go everywhere. Here we go. Here they come. We hurry start shooting, we go as fast as we can. The first one to get four in a row wins. So yeah! go! Yeah! Hey, hey, hey! I can't believe this camera won! When I say on three, ready? On three! Woo! I forgot to lock it in place. Now it works. Woo! I don't even know how to do this! <laughs> Your dad oh, he's going to school! Yes! Oh no, if Ted does this, I'm dead! <laughs> I'm trying to go for the other one over here. Ah, you made the garbage can. No! <laughs> you did make points. Ooh. Yes. Oh, you blocked me. Oh, I get one more! Dad! <laughs> Dad, we did not do that. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh. Block the shot. No! I did it! I got four in a row! Woo! There you go. Goons never win. Oh, yeah, they do! <laughs> yeah! I was blocking the shot. We have to let dads win. Besides, it's Father's Day, isn't it? No, it's not! That Father's Day was like a month ago. I can't remember. That's what makes every day a Father's Day. Woo! Uh. <laughs> I 
Oh, my Caleb. Speaking of crazy shots that the goons try to get in, I mean, look at this from Disney. We got this and we looked at it and we're like, this is super cool. This is a squirt gun, guys. That's a tune squirt gun. I mean, over at Disneyland, they have Toontown. Look at Goopy's gas. Check out, come jump in. It's Goopy. And then you got Looney Tunes. I mean, I don't know. There's a connection here, guys. Water can shoot multiple directions, forwards, backwards, left, and right. And two different spray patterns. Cool. You got the spray, and then you got the total squirter. And then you got the four different ways. You just have to point the finger in one way. If you point it straight, it shoots forward to the right side. It points right. And then you can actually shoot yourself in the face. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Look, it's a Disney special. And then on the back, gives you bigger pictures. So you can actually turn the mouse ears left or right to control the spray, either just a full fan or just one little shot. And it says pump water pressure and shoot. The more you pump, the farther it goes. Fill up the water tank, that's pretty cool. Seems pretty simple. I don't know guys, these look like tune guns to you. Go ahead, like and subscribe or like, I'll turn the finger at you. I gotta make sure you point the finger the right direction. And that's a dad. Attention deficit as dad moment. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.